So if I have inside control, however I have it on now, this opens up my leg attacks, all right? If I have outside controls, now it starts to give me access to his back. So in general, inside control is gonna give me the, the access to his legs, outside to the back. Now there are certain controls like De La Hiva, that is an outside inside control. I have both. So I can go either direction. I can attack the leg or attack the back, right? Same with reverse De La Hiva, same with K guard. You know, those I have inside and outside control. So now I can attack either the, the leg or to look to, to attack the back. So when we're playing with this, you know, these are the things we're gonna be looking for. For right now, what we're gonna play with is both people are trying to get to that inside control and you know, both people are trying to get access to the leg. So to start with, all we're gonna play with is trying to get to the Ashi position um, and that's where we're gonna stop things. So we're not, we're not worried about outside control right now. We're gonna be adding these things in as we go. But right now, my goal is to get inside control of some kind. You know, look to get him down and attach with my Ashi position, you know, however I can do it. He's looking to get to the inside, so I'm looking to get to his Ashi control. So, right, so whoever can get to the, to the Ashi is gonna win that, you know, win that little battle back and forth. So if there's a winner, then you're gonna flip and then, you know, flip rolls, top person, you know, bottom top, top bottom, and keep going. And we're just going to put it on the clock for about five minutes to let you guys kind of work back and forth, you know, playing with that concept, right? So again, right now, we're only worried about getting inside position and getting to Ashi. When you get to this Ashi, the other things I want you to think about um, is however I end up getting to it. I want control of his leg, either you know, with a, you know, a wrapping hook, if I'm gonna use one arm, or I need two arms on the leg, right? So I either want two hands, or I need like a wrapping hook that can control it with one hand. And then my legs, their job is to control the hip. So I've gotta to attach to that hip, right? So my legs are attaching to the hip, my arm is controlling the leg, or I have two hands on the, the leg if I don't have that wrapping hook. Right? So that's what we're playing with to get started, and then we're gonna take it from there. Let's grab a partner and hit it. Three, two, one. Standing. I, once I get to that inside space, then it's looking to get control of this leg. Right? Once I have control of this leg, now I can go to Ashi. Right? So, like, I don't need a bunch of different ways to get there. I just need one really good way to get there. Right? So the big thing is I gotta own that inside space and then I gotta get control of this leg. If I have those two things, I can get to Ashi, right? You know, so, you know, there's different ways, you know, to set up things to get there, but like sometimes it's just keeping it simple, right? Like I just kept fighting back and back and back to that. Like I wasn't trying to do anything fancy, any kind of other setups. I was just looking inside space, two hands on the leg, control the leg, get to the Ashi. Right, so you know, you can also like once you get here and you get this, you can, you know, this is where you can choose which way you want to go with it. I can drive this way and then catch my Ashi, or I can fall this way and catch my Ashi. Right, so you know, you've got some options in there, you know, but yeah, I don't, you know, again, like I don't need a lot of different ways to get there. I just need to own that inside space to set it up. It's kind of the same from the, the bottom, really, right? Like I can sweep you a bunch of different ways, but once your butt hits the mat, it's two hands on the legs, slide into Ashi. Like it's the same every time, right? So, <laughs> you know, so, you know, it's, we don't have to overcomplicate it. We just have to be able to get to the spot where we can initiate that control. Make sense? So, what are you talking about? <laughs> Stand up for me. So, got here, and they started to, I guess, they 
here the foot. So I drove this way and I went back like this. Yeah, it's still on sheet. Okay. Right. So I'm sorry. You you, you won that one. Uh, <laughs> I got it on recording. <laughs> Yeah, it's still Ashi. So, yep. So, um, any other questions on that? Alright, so now, stand for me. <clears throat> so now the next part. So, what we're going to do now is, is the bottom person is, is looking for outside control and back exposure. Alright? Top person, um, we're looking to, you know, use outside control to pass the guard. Um, or inside control to pass the guard. Either one is fine. So he can fight for his inside control and look to pass, or he can fight for outside control and look to pass. My whole thing is, is when I'm playing here, is I'm looking to start getting to outside control somehow, some way. I can simply like slide into here, right? And now I can start exposing, you know, the back and start looking for opportunities here, right? I can play outside control with like a De La Hiva situation. I'm on my way in to expose the back, right? I can look to break him down, pull him into my guard, start looking to come around the back side and expose the back, right? There's different ways to do this. You can set it up, you know, I can go inside control, Break him down, get the back exposure, get to the back, all right? So we're just looking to now set up that combination of, you know, using you know, our controls to expose his back from the bottom and from the top, we're looking to pass, all right? So top person's passing, bottom person's looking to get to the back. Um, whoever gets the win, we switch and do it again, all right? Let's do it, three, two, one. <laughs> So, so if he's, you know, if I, if I manage to get outside control, right, so I can wrestle up, right, so I can stand up or I can drop him down and I can look to take his back, right? I can pummel in to open him up. That pummel in, um, can I see all the yeah, so you so this foot's catching here. Across. This one comes in behind the knee. Okay. And then I work to grab the hips. It's the worst too, because you get sat down like, it's like you're a baby. You're like, yeah, right. <laughs> right. You just get sat down. Like, no, that's not cool. Alright, as he's looking to, to, to make his passes, I can even fight to keep this inside space and just arm drag. Right. Anytime I can get an arm driver there, <laughs> you know, if I can get reverse Kimuras, opens it up, right? So, you know, so it just becomes one of those things where I'm just always looking to start getting my body around the corner to start looking for that, to open that up. <laughs> right, to get to his back. So, so we're just looking for those opportunities there. Yeah, you know, and as we add more pieces to this, you know, when they're not just passing and they have options to attack and stuff too, that actually opens up more, you know, entries. If they start sitting back on legs and things like that, we can counter and end up on the back, right? So, um, you know, so those will open up as we add submissions and stuff into it. But other questions? The bottom person can win by taking the back or getting a leg entanglement. It can be Ashi, it can be 411, it can be backside 50 50, it doesn't really matter. Whatever leg entanglement you can get to. Top person can win by passing or also getting a leg entanglement. Or if they can find a way to the back, they can win by taking the back as well. You know, so all of those options are now open. Yeah, you know, so top person wins by passing, taking a leg or taking the back. Bottom person wins by taking the back or getting a leg entanglement. 
right? So, um, so it's the same game. Now you just have more options available to you. The point of this is realizing as he's defending one situation, as he's defending my you know shin to shin situation here, it opens up other <coughs> opportunities, right? So instead of staying married to one technique and trying to force something that's not there, their defense gives you the opposite. That's why we paired leg locks and back takes together, because they work together. So, yeah, so as we're looking for those leg entanglements, if they're defending well, that means the back is there. Find your way to it. Arm drags, <coughs> so, you know, uh, cut the corner. You know, because some guys will step in, and he'll step in and turn sideways. It's like, no, you're not going to shin to shin on me to get your leg in Okay? Then we'll take the back. Right. <laughs> right? So, you know, so this is to get you out of that habit of just being locked in on trying to get to that leg entanglement. And if it's not there, but just forcing something that isn't going to happen and taking what they are giving to you. Right? So, same idea, same concept. Um, but now we're, we're going back and forth with that. So, you know, again, bottom person wins by leg entanglement or taking the back. Top person wins by passing leg entanglement or taking the back, all right? So let's grab a different partner to get, you know, <laughs> a different feel for it. And let's go, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Getting to my leg entry, right? You know, if he's defending that, now I have control of the elbow. If I have control of the elbow, I have arm drags. I have the back, right? So I'm playing with controls of his knees and his elbows to either get leg entanglements or get back exposure, right? You know, now, you know, I can use his knees to open up his back as well, right? But, you know, as a, a general thing, like it's, if I have control of the leg and the knee, I can look for my entries here. As he's defending, he's giving me arm drags, right? So same from the, the top, you know, if I'm stepping in and he's getting, yeah, his controls in here, I understand he's starting to look at, you know, at my back. So then that means I have entries into his legs. Right? <laughs> if he's throwing shields and things up, you know, and he's getting here, you know, now I've got to have answers. I can either look to go around the shield or I can look to switch and attack the shield. Right? If I get him up and I start coming in and he starts fighting my grips with his arms, right? That starts giving me arm drags. Right? Every time I can find an arm drag, I can find the back. If I can find knee control, I can find the leg. So, you know, kind of think of it in terms of those concepts. Look to get those controls. As soon as I start to enter, I want to try to get two hands on whatever it is that I'm trying to control. If it's the leg, two hands on the leg. If it's the back, I'm looking for seat belts, double unders, you know, hip control, something of that nature, right? All right, let's grab a new partner and do it again. Three, two, one.